Hey everyone, welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. It is no secret that our building editor is a catastrophic pain to use, and that we think that those of you who have mastered it are awesome and cool and brilliant as the sun. For all the rest of us, help, though incremental, is coming. For Alpha 17, we went through all the feedback you've given us over the last year and targeted a few high-value tactical improvements. The first and most exciting is that the furniture section of the building editor now contains not just all the furniture and decor that is currently in your inventory, but also all the furniture and decor that your crafters know how to craft. This means that as long as any crafter you've ever had knows how to make something, you can add it to your building templates. To go along with this, Yang also added another of your much requested features, auto queue from the building editor. Yes, furnitures, fixtures, and decor that is added to a building from the building editor is then automatically added to the relevant crafter queue. So if you've set your crafters upright, i.e. near plentiful materials and with all the correct workshops, before you start a building project, the building should just complete all by itself. There are some caveats to this, of course, and many edge cases, which is why it's taken us so long to get around to this feature. First, if the thing you order is blocked for any reason, like by an unplaced workbench or a lack of materials, it is up to you to go to the crafter and figure out why. Second, if the thing you order is dependent on other things, the way that an in sign or a blacksmith sign is dependent on the generic sign, the child dependencies will not be auto-added, because this could be a long chain with no end. Third, if you had a ton of an item already and then ask for more of that item from the building editor, the items will currently auto-queue anyway, because there's no way for the game to know that the items in your inventory weren't designated for another building project, or for the Goblin Chieftain. So don't make windows and doors anymore in advance of needing them for your building unless you actually need them for something else. And of course, if you find that auto-queue isn't working for you, there's a way to turn it off in the settings. While Yang was in the building editor, she also added names to all the colors of rock and wood so that it's easier to describe and remember what color block you are using. And f when you're designing custom things, we know that a lot of the colors are very close together. She also added a ton more colors to things like pillars, so now you should be able to make even more combinations of interesting houses. The last thing I'd like to talk about today is the fact that many of you have expressed frustration that you've designed a house and that your hearthlings just stopped building it. We feel your pain. We really, really do. Unfortunately, this is not a simple bug. It is a fundamental difficulty of pathfinding as a field, and Chris is working full-time on making this better, probably the topic of another whole Desktop Tuesday all by itself. In the meantime, though, Yang has added a toast that will pop up when you have run out of the resources needed to complete a building, and tweak the UI to call out what is needed. This way, if the building is stuck not for pathfinding and complicated AI reasons, but because you are simply out of materials, you'll be alerted so that you can do something about it. The building does not alert you when you are out of furniture and decor, though it shows in the UI, because presumably your crafters are hard at work making those things because you have auto queue turned on. And that's it for this week! We're working hard on Alpha 17 and look forward to getting it into your hands soon. In the meantime, Alpha 16 is out on Steam Stable, and we always love to hear how the game is going for you, either here in the comments or on our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. See you next week!